Even here locally, we are not seeing that heat in our area, but toward other portions of the Northwest or other portions of the US. Well, they are seeing plenty of heat, excessive heat warnings, heat advisories. We'll talk about that in just a second, but here's what we got outside right now. Uh, skies clearing quite a bit. We've got a lot of those showers moving out. Uh, we're seeing those clouds clear out as well. We did see a little bit of rain yesterday, but uh, that has since come and gone. So what we have to go forward is this red flag warning that takes effect as of 2 p.m. It will continue until 9 p.m. Uh, with strong wind and low relative humidity. Now, although in our region we're dealing with the red flag warning, that doesn't necessarily indicate high heat. This is the part of the country that is dealing with plenty of that heat. You can see all the way from uh, just Texas up through Illinois. Uh, we see uh, parts of Minneapolis under excessive heat watches, uh, New York as well. So really across the country and mainly about the eastern half of the country. And you can see what this comes as. There's heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, excessive heat watches, pretty much everywhere that you could or every uh, you know type of watch warning advisory that you could imagine is issued uh, somewhere in the country right now due to these record breaking temperatures. There are 14 states that are expecting their high temperature to break a record today. Uh, you can see the current national temperatures show that a bulk of the country is already in the 80 degree range. We see Lincoln, Nebraska at 81 right now. Little Rock at 76. Phoenix, Arizona right now is at 87 degrees. So very, very warm temperatures to start off uh, the day and it's only going to get warmer from here. Uh, here locally, wind gusts are going to be the biggest concern. We've got those wind gusts jumping up to the 20 mile per hour range, just as they did yes yesterday. Uh, that will continue once again this afternoon. Uh, so a pretty breezy afternoon. What we've got on our high temperature shows that we're not going to be too hot today. We're staying in the 70s and a couple 80s. It's going to take a little bit of time for us to get there. So although these temperatures are about 10 degrees below average, take a look at where we're going to be going as the week keeps going. So Saturday, Sunday, 80s in store, 90s come around by the time we get to your Monday and your Tuesday. Day. That means that overall these temperatures are really going to keep warming up and uh, we've only got more heat to come, right?